All right, guys, uh, welcome to Ruby Queuing. We will today be doing a spatchcock salt crusted chicken. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, to spatchcock, which is basically just butterflying open a chicken, you're basically just going to take scissors and cut through heck, easily the backbone, the, the little bones connected to the backbone on the side here. You're going to do it on both sides. All right, easy enough, right? So we'll take this now and flip it upside down. And all you're going to do is kind of just lean on it and crack the bones and spread it out a little bit. So there, now you have a flat chicken. There's no cavity. It cooks a little bit evener or a little more even. Just kind of helps the cooking time, a little speed up process and stuff like that. So now, all right guys. So for the chimichurri, what we're going to do here is it's a, like an Argentinian marinade that goes with steak. Usually you can use it pretty much on anything. So today for the chicken, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a bushel of cilantro and a bushel of flat leaf parsley, okay? I like both. I make a lot of sauce just because, like I said, we're also going to reserve it. We're also going to do like half a bushel that you can get at the store, fresh oregano if you have it. If not, dried oregano works just as well, all right? So we're also going to need a shallot, which is just basically like a mild onion. Treat it the same way, skin it, peel it. Throw it in. All right, so that's in. We're also gonna use a jalapeno. You can also use a Fresno. If you have a red jalapeno, that's even a little bit better. It gives a little bit more earthy, rounded flavor to it. But we'll just chop it up into kind of similar pieces as the, uh, the shallot. We're also gonna add the juice of one lime. I personally like to use these. I think this is like the best invention ever for get, getting juice out of anything. You get everything, it pretty much flips it upside down and it's done. Perfect. All right, so then we're also gonna need three to four cloves of garlic. If you smash them, it kind of help peel them. All right, and then we're gonna take about half a cup Red wine vinegar, let's get this thing off. Just throw that in. Yeah, let's throw the whole thing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the blender, take the little pour spout out. There we go. Let that go, that should be good. Now what we'll do is rinse this out a bit, there's some stuff in it. All right, we'll reserve this for later. This stuff is like gold, everybody loves it. It's a great sauce to just put over anything. Uh, and then this, what we'll do is we'll take and we'll rub inside the skin of the chicken and then also place a few pads of butter up under there to uh, help make it yummy. <laughs> So you're just going to want to work your fingers up under the skin and get everything kind of separated a little bit. Helps everything get in there. We'll use this one. And then basically we're just going to coat and run it in. Shove it in. Get it all over the skin. Flip it over. Kind of do the same thing with the thighs a little bit. Get the skin in between the thighs. Can't forget those. Some of the best meat on the chicken, right? All right, let's throw the rest of that on there. So, now we have our chicken. Our chicken's done. Oh, almost forgot the butter. One second. The other thing you're always gonna wanna do is wash your hands whenever touching raw chicken. It's always like the number one rule, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about four tablespoons of butter. All right, we're gonna cut it into one tablespoon pads. Just like that, easy enough. And we're going to just shove these under the skin. When that melts, it's going to create a lot of amazing flavors on top of that. So, we'll melt into the chicken breast and everything else. Get that. 
and that. All right, now the chicken's done. So like I said, as in the title, as what I said when we started, we were gonna be salt crusting this chicken. So what that is, is you basically take three to four pounds for a chicken and a 12 inch skillet works. So we'll just dump this all in, just don't wanna run out and come out, come up short. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about two cups of cold water, one and a half to two cups of water, and you're gonna add it slowly. And you're just gonna kinda of keep mixing it in. You're just gonna kinda of keep mixing it in slowly until you get kind of the consistency of snow. Now, we're in San Diego, we get a ton of snow. I think I've seen it maybe five times in my life. I'm just guessing. We'll say this is what it kind of looks like. But as you mix, and if you need a little bit more, this might have been a little bit more than three or four pounds of salt. Uh, you know, you can always add more as you need it. Uh, I used a nice coarse salt. You don't want to use the fine stuff. The coarse stuff kind of sticks together and creates that, that snow effect like we wanted. Um, so basically the reason that we are doing a salt crust is usually it's reserved for fish or traditionally it's used in fish, I should say. Um, and what it does is it basically just locks in all the moisture of that fish into, you know, keeping the heat and it, it'll create like a hard crust that you actually have to break off with like a mallet. So we're at the point now, this is kind of, kind of snowy. Maybe just use a little bit more water to finish this up. Like I said, about two cups and, uh, we're there. So this should be good. Now what you do is you take it and you're going to line the bottom of your skillet with about an inch of salt. You want to get it nice and packed in there. You want to get a nice firm base for it. All right. That should be good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken. We'll go breast side up and we'll just kind of squeeze it in here. Maybe tuck up the, tuck up the legs a little bit. Make sure everything's squeezed in and nice. And then we're just going to cover the rest of it. You want to make sure that you don't have any chicken that's showing. You want to make sure everything is encased basically in this salt crust. Just like this, cover all the wings. All right, I think we're about good. Get the last little bit here. Need to transfer, you can transfer a little bit. You want to really make sure that you get the breast though, because that's where all your heat's going to be, or all your moisture is what you really wanted in the breast. So there you have it, salt crusted. Now we just got to throw it in the pizza oven. We'll be good to go. Now that we've gotten our uh, chicken salt crusted and we're ready to go into the pizza oven here, what we're going to do is we're going to throw it all the way in the back, get it up to a temperature of about 450 to 500, and we're going to leave that for about 40 minutes. After the 40 minutes, we'll pull it out. We'll let it cool for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Crack open this crust. Enjoy the deliciousness. It's been 40, 45 minutes. We're gonna take the chicken out. So uh, safety first, always be careful. Gloves, this thing is gonna be screaming hot. So we got a little bit of char on the edge, but that's all right. That's just going to be the crust. And as you can see, it's like rock solid. So we're going to have to crack that open after about a 10 minute rest. Now it's time. We're going to crack this salt crust. It's going to get a little messy. So I either recommend you doing it in the sink in the house, if you have a large enough sink or outside like this, because the salt kind of does go everywhere. So here we go. One thing I am going to point out to you really quick though, is that if you like the crust, the crispy chicken like skin, this isn't the dish for you. The skin's going to be a little bit soggy it's not going to be as crispy as it would be like if you were to like roast it or or grill it but the juiciness of the breast if you're not worried about the skin is out of control so you can see how hard it gets that's what locks in all that moisture and be careful because it is hot it's going to be very very hot here So you're going to want to be careful and just kind of brush away the salt that's on this because you obviously don't want that. That's one of the main things about this dish is that even though you're covering it in salt and it's completely encased in it, it's not going to be salty. The salt just kind of bakes it a thing. So you just brush it off and it's not even an issue. So we'll take our knife out here, 
kind of get it up underneath. And again, be careful because this is super hot. We have our chicken here. Like I said, you're gonna to wanna to brush everything off. Just get all the salt out of here because you don't want that, obviously. Since I'm outside, I can make a mess. I won't get yelled at, it's not a big deal. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna carefully take the, the, the skin and peel it away so that you're not getting the salt that's there all over the chicken. And there you have it. So now you can just take it like a normal like a normal chicken. And I prefer, instead of carving just like a turkey or something like that, what I prefer to do is I just cut the whole breast off. So you just kind of start along the backbone here. Take your knife and you go in and it peels right off. We'll take our plate here, this here. And there you have the whole breast right there. And I guarantee you, this is gonna be one of the juiciest pieces of chicken you have ever had in your life. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Still smoking hot. And then again, you got your, your thigh and your thigh and leg just all come apart just like this. Just do a little brush to get the salt off. I mean, it's so perfectly cooked. It's just, I mean, the bone just came out of it. I mean, you know, you can't ask for anything better than that. So we'll take this and throw this on here. And then if you want, the wings are just even falling apart. I can't even pull them off. They're like so, so tender right now. So again, we'll get this out of the way here and we'll bring this to you. This here is the chimichurri salt crusted chicken. What we're going to do now is we'll let me clean my cutting board up and then we'll slice it and serve it. Thank you. Now to serve, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the breast. This is my wife's favorite part. She doesn't like the dark meat, so I get all of it. Lucky me. And we'll just cut this kind of on a bias. Just kind of extend the breast out a little bit. It's literally just falling apart yet so moist. And then what we're going to do because we saved this earlier. And again, the reason we saved it and reserved it is because you don't want to mix chicken that you've been marinating or sauces or marinades that you've been marinating with chicken with cooked chicken because then you get all the bacteria and everything. So we'll just take this little piece right here and just cover it over the side here. And if you want, do the same thing with the chicken. We got the helicopters coming in. They're coming to get us. like a whole piece of garlic in that. And there you go, finished project. We got, like I said again, one more time, the salt crusted chimichurri roasted chicken. It is gonna be absolutely amazing. The chimichurri has got like a like a tanginess and like a, a saltiness to it, but it's not overly bad. And the uh, chicken is way moist. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't ask for a chicken breast. That's, it, it, you'll never have anything like this. So um, again, thank you for coming and checking out Uh Big thanks to Ballistic Barbecue. And uh, we'll see you again next time.